Since 1980, data networks have enjoyed steady growth and success. For many companies, the corporate network is the crucial information resource that enables business success. In the public domain, the internet provides vast possibilities for information retrieval and communication. Today, we face a growing demand for high-speed wireless access to these data networks, which means at least 10 megabits per second of data rate available for the mobile equipment. Many wireless technologies are in place to facilitate information mobility. For example, GSM, the global system for mobile communication. Its packet service extension, GPRS, that's the General Packet Radio System, and Edge. That's enhanced data rates for global evolution. They all focus on speech services with some low bit rate data capabilities. Third generation wireless networks such as UMTS, that's the Universal Mobile Telecommunication System, enhanced by a high speed packet access air interface, have shown significant progress in mobile data rates. But still, they are limited to a few megabits per second user data rates. Today, the most powerful available wireless data network technology is based on IEEE's 802.11 wireless LAN standards family. It provides up to 54 megabits per second within a range of a few hundred meters. If a wider coverage is to be achieved, for example, for a university campus or an entire city, many wireless LANs must be interconnected. In 2004. IEEE's 802.16 working group developed a wireless metropolitan area network standard as WiMAX. That stands for Worldwide Interoperability for Microwave Access. WiMAX provides data rates of up to 100 megabits per second using one single base station that covers an area of several square kilometers. By the end of 2005. An amendment to the WiMAX standard was approved that adds mobility and fast handover capabilities to the WiMAX standard. IEEE's 802.16e standard is a solution for a WAN, that is, a wireless wide area network, that equals legacy 3GPP networks, but provides much higher data rates for user applications. To complete our considerations, we can add two classes at the lower range level. A personal area network or PAN interconnects PDAs, mobile phones, hands-free kits, and so on within a few meters. PAN standards include Bluetooth, that's IEEE 802.15.1, Universal Wireless Broadband, that's IEEE 802.15.3a, and ZigBee. That's IEEE 802.15.4. Finally, WBANs, that's wireless body area networks, interconnect a handset to intelligent cloth or healthcare devices using RFID, that's radio frequency identification, or NFC, that's near field communication. With all these wireless networks coexisting in the future. The need for a media-independent handover is obvious. The IEEE 802.21 working group caters for a seamless handover between all wireless standards, including 3GPP networks.